Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Bite Size History on History with Audrey D. In today's lesson, we are again going to be working on those inventions, and we are in part three of Ancient Egyptian Inventions. Now, for today's lesson, we are going to be focusing on some of those inventions that help with our lifestyles in ancient Egypt and that we still actually see in modern society today. Oh, if you are enjoying these lessons, please make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button before we move on. And you can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon as History with Audrey D as well. Let's go ahead and get into our lesson on part three of our ancient Egyptian inventions. <laughs> Before we get started, we need to look at our standard, our learning goal, and our learning target for today's lesson as well. Now our standard is again going to be standard two to describe the emergence of early civilizations. And our learning goal for today is going to be to summarize important achievements of Egyptian civilization. Now our learning target for today is going to be describe agriculture calendar, pyramids, art and architecture, hieroglyphic writing, record keeping, literature, such as the Book of the Dead and mummification. Now another learning target that we're gonna be focusing on today is to identify the seven characteristics of civilization. The first invention to discuss is wigs. Wigs were worn primarily by the nobility and represent a level of the social structure. Wealthy Egyptians often shaved their heads, which was also a sign of nobility. However, they would wear these expensive wigs or headpieces for special occasions, sometimes wearing the wigs with an ornate headpiece on top of it. Most wealthy Egyptians would wear wigs or other head coverings to protect their bare scalps from the sun as well. The hair used to make these wigs was human and was either the person's own hair or it would have been traded for from another individual. As we learned in our last episode, Egyptians made a number of scientific and mathematical inventions as well. Ancient Egyptians created and utilized medical instruments such as bone saws, suction cups, knives, scalpels, scales, retractors, chisels, lances, and dental tools. Egyptian medicine influenced other countries, such as Greece, and Egyptians were known to use honey as medicine, both topically and orally. Doctors in ancient Egypt were known to use both spiritual and medicinal remedies for treating illness and disease. They believe that spirits blocked channels in the body and that other gods and demons may have caused illnesses as well. Doctors and dentists would also use herbs and spices to treat things such as bad breath. The Ebers papyrus is known for containing over 700 remedies and magical formulas for medical practices. A number of different medical issues were addressed by the ancient Egyptians, including heart and cardiovascular conditions, mental illnesses, including depression and dementia, and family planning, such as birth control, pregnancy, and other gynecological issues. Eye diseases, parasites, intestinal disease, dental and skin problems, as well as surgical procedures for abscesses and tumors were all addressed. All this and more are documented in ancient Egyptian texts about medical practices. Ancient Egyptians also developed cosmetic makeup. Beauty was thought of as a sign of holiness and as such cosmetic use also served a religious purpose. Egyptians invented eye makeup in 4000 BCE, which also provided protection from the sun and was meant to imitate the looks of the gods. One potential recipe for their eye makeup was soot combined with a lead called galena to make coal, which was like a liquid or creamy black eyeliner. A number of other ingredients might have been used, including powdered malachite and azurite. 
as well as lapis lazuli. Perfumes, creams, and oils were all meant to create and keep a youthful appearance, or what we would consider today to be anti-aging. Toothpaste was another invention from ancient Egypt. Now, oral health was important to the wealthy and the pharaohs. The first examples of toothpaste included pepper, mint, rock salt, and dried iris flowers ground together into a fine paste with a bit of water. Egyptians are believed to be the first civilization to use toothpaste. The very first traveling clock was created by Egyptians in later centuries and it utilized similar technology as with their obelisk shadow clocks. These were invented around 3500 BCE and are the utilization of large stone obelisks to cast a shadow on the ground to find the time of day. Glass making came to Egypt around 1400 BCE, but was then adapted and made into its own technology. Crushed quartz would be mixed with ashes of burnt plants and placed into small clay jars and heated into a glassy blob. Glass bottles, jars, and beads were made through this method, with beads becoming more prominent in the second millennium BCE. Finally, we reach mummification and embalming. A major part of life was also death. Egyptians believed in an afterlife and practiced a multitude of rituals meant to assist the deceased in the afterlife. One such ritual was mummification, which is where we find the embalming process. Embalming is the process of treating a body to keep it from decaying. This entire process was created to protect the body in the afterlife and took 70 days to complete. Priests would first remove all of the body's organs and store them in sacred jars that would be buried with the body. Then they would cover the body with a type of salt called natron and store it until the body had dried out. The embalmers would then fill in sunken areas of the dried body with linen to make it look more natural and put fake eyes into the sockets. They then wrapped the mummy with burial spices and in hundreds of yards of linen, carefully winding long strips of linen around the body and at times individually wrapping each finger and toe before wrapping the hand or foot. Amulets, prayers, and written magical words would be placed in or on the linen wrappings to protect the person in the afterlife as well. A mask would also be placed over the person's face between the bandages. At different stages of wrapping, the mummy would be coated in a warm resin and the wrapping would begin again. The mummy would then be placed in its coffin or sarcophagus and placed in its now ready tomb. Before we end this episode, I wanted to share a few examples of student work that could be done in a class or at home to better understand some of the inventions from ancient Egypt, as well as inventions from any of the civilizations. And that wraps it up for part three of our Ancient Egyptian Inventions series. And that is it for Ancient Egyptian Inventions right now. Now, in our next episode, what we will be looking at is the mythology and religion of ancient Egypt. I hope you enjoyed these episodes. If you did, make sure you are hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon as History with Audrey D. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I put out a new lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. And also, if you have any suggestions for future history episodes, make sure to put those down in the comment section below as well. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in our next lesson.